Imagine being a young college girl in 1971 India, forced into a world of covert operations and international espionage. Not as a trained agent, but as a seemingly ordinary bride. This is the incredible true story of Saymat Khan, a woman who dared to become a spy in the heart of enemy territory during the tumultuous Indo-Pakistani War of 1971. But was she a traitor or a patriot? Did her love story blossom amidst the dangers, or was it a carefully crafted performance? Stay tuned, because this tale has more twists and turns than a Bollywood thriller, and by the end, you will understand the immense impact this unlikely spy had on the course of the war. Saymat Khan's story begins not in the shadows of espionage, but in the bustling streets of Kashmir. Born into a Muslim family with a Hindu mother, her life took a sharp turn when her freedom fighter father, weakened by cancer, proposed a daring mission, for Saymat, with no prior training, to pose as a Pakistani bride and infiltrate the heart of the enemy's army. Imagine a tense conversation between a loving father and his teenage daughter, where the weight of national security rests on her young shoulders. What would you do? Following her father's dying wish, Saymat, at the tender age of 18, agreed to undergo rigorous training by India's intelligence agency, RA. Language lessons, code-breaking techniques, and even self-defense, Saymat transformed from a bookish teenager into a covert operative. This seemingly impossible mission, a young woman marrying into the enemy camp, would later become the heart for a crucial intelligence operation. The audacious mission? Saymat would assume a new identity as a Pakistani bride, marrying into the military ranks of the enemy camp to become a silent observer and intelligence asset for India. Picture a bustling marketplace, a young woman with a new name and a fabricated past, about to embark on a life-or-death mission. How did she navigate this cultural tightrope walk? Meticulously coached in Pakistani customs and traditions, her target was Iqbal Syed, the son of a high-ranking general. Once in Pakistan, Saymat's life was constantly in danger. She attended lavish military galas, rubbing shoulders with the very people she was betraying, always one slip away from being unmasked. Yet, with nerves of steel, she eavesdropped on conversations, documented troop movements, and even gained access to top-secret war plans. Using a hidden radio transmitter and coded messages disguised as poetry, Saymat relayed vital intel back to India. Her information proved invaluable, allowing India to prepare decisive counteroffensives and preemptive strikes that crippled Pakistan. Historians believe Saymat's intel was a game changer in India's swift victory in the Eastern Front, allowing India to liberate Bangladesh within 13 days of war and forcing 93,000 Pakistani troops to surrender. One specific piece of information, the location of the Pakistani airbase at Sargodha, is believed to have saved countless lives. The Indian Air Force's preemptive strike on Sargodha crippled Pakistan's Air Force, significantly impacting the course of the war. But, perhaps her most crucial contribution was relaying Pakistan's planned attack on the strategic Indian aircraft carrier INS Vikrant, intel that potentially saved countless lives. The Indian Navy's first aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant, played a key role in India's victory in the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War. The ship helped enforce a naval blockade on East Pakistan preventing reinforcements from the sea and contributing to the birth of Bangladesh. During the war, the Pakistan had sent PNS Ghazi to destroy INS Vikrant. With the utmost discretion, she transmitted the vital information through coded messages, ensuring the Vikrant was repositioned to safety and Ghazi was destroyed. Saymat's story, however, was not merely one of espionage and patriotism. Over time, she grew to respect, perhaps even love, the very man she was betraying, her husband Iqbal. This internal conflict added an unimaginable weight to her already Herculean mission. Living a double life, constantly walking a tightrope, took a toll on her emotional well-being. The fear of exposure, the longing for her family, these were constant companions. But Saymat persevered, her unwavering patriotism a constant source of strength. As the war drew to a close and the risk of her cover being blown increased, Saymat was extracted from Pakistan in a covert operation by Indian intelligence. Her return to India was as dramatic as her mission. Disguised and aided by a network of spies and operatives, she made her way back to Indian soil, leaving behind the life she had built and the people she had come to know in Pakistan. The psychological toll of her mission was immense. She had not only put her life on the line but also had to grapple with the ethical and emotional implications of her actions. 
After the war, Saymat chose to live a life of anonymity, shunning the spotlight and recognition. Her decision to remain in the shadows, despite her monumental contributions, speaks volumes about her character. In her later years, she dedicated herself to teaching in philanthropy, quietly continuing to serve her country in her own way. But, did Saymat ever find peace? Did she ever reconcile the identities she had to juggle? These questions may never have definitive answers, but her legacy lives on. Saymat Khan, the unlikely spy, stands as a testament to the extraordinary sacrifices made in the pursuit of national security, a silent guardian whose courage helped shape the course of history. For decades, Saymat's contributions remained a closely guarded secret, known only to a few in India's intelligence circles. It wasn't until her son's efforts that her incredible story of bravery and sacrifice came to light, eventually chronicled in a book and adapted into the Bollywood film Razi. So, next time you think about the unsung heroes of history, remember Saymat Khan, the woman who changed the course of a war with her indomitable spirit and unparalleled bravery.